Hello everyone, Esprin here, coming 101, I'm going to do another review. Bear with my hair is like, all over the place, look at that. I don't know what's going on with my hair. But anyways, um, I've been wanting to do this for a very long time, and I know I said I was going to put some um, voting on Facebook so what, for you to pick, but this time I'm like, you know what, I think it's time to do the complete stuff. And not comparing any, just complete stuff. So, um, finally... I actually got Wingnut finally complete. Um, I, it's been forever since I actually got him complete and everything. And of course, my favorite when they actually bring out their little sidekick right here, Screw Loose. Um, I, I guess I've been wanting to get him complete for a very, very long time. Let's put it this way when I first got him, uh, he was used, and that was back in, oh god, that was back when, shoot. Back in the mid '90s, I think mid '90s, and look, it's already 2000 what, 14, and then finally got it complete. See, people, it takes t patience. I'll admit, I have no patience for nothing, but when it comes to turtles, is you gotta have patience for it. And not only that, when you finally could get get this guy complete, it is sweet. I mean, finally, you know. So we're gonna do review him. And if you saw my last re uh, video. I actually put my toys inside the little bag with their accessories so I won't lose their accessories or forget you know, which one I, got, I own. So we're going to do the Pulliam Bullfrog. Now this is the, the, um, the rare version, not the, the gray color one. This is a, the dark, dark puke green kind of color. I'm pretty sure you could tell the difference already. So we're going to use the regular one, not the regular one, but the, the rare one I meant. With his accessories as well. And he has a little psychic friend, as you can see right here. How cool does he look? Sweet. Um, they already did his um, video. Stupid hair. They already did him on a new Nickelodeon, and he was um, the voice of the guy who did um, Napoleon Dynamite. You know, Napoleon, Napoleon Dynamite. It was great. I liked it a lot. I really did. And, of course, without that frog. Let me start to get this one out. Eh. And he's also complete, gangless bull or gangless frog. He was also in a series. He was the, the mean one. I don't know. They kind of switched personalities, but yeah, he was like the the leader's um, right hand, you know. And they made him look really, really twisted. They kind of looked like they switched faces and everything, but he he was really cool. So like I said, we're not going to do comparison because there's another one like this one. The rare one is the one with the yellow belt. Uh, this one doesn't have that made in on the back of his butt, but this one's just I'm just gonna use this one. Um, however, he doesn't have um, um, a sidekick friend. I do have his sisters right here, but having us for quite a while. And I got this one in Colorado, the belt with the bombs, and uh, my buddy Jared, Jared Tomato. I show you real quick. <laughs> Jared Tomato, here's his uh, link right here to his channel. He goes out turtle hunting, sells, uh, he does contests, and I did his contest, uh, and um, I won his, well, me, it says won his contest, and I, and I get to pick what I want, and I saw these, this little sunglasses right here. I've been wanting these glasses for a very, very long time, so Jared and, of course, Chris, who helped me with the accessories as well. Um, guys, thank you so much for the accessories to help me to complete these. Because if it wasn't for you guys, I'll probably go going, going crazy. All right, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna introduce you to this real quick. Here's Fatty Corners. This is also where I get my stuff, and they have some really good stuff there. Anime, they're really turtle friendly, anime friendly, Ghostbuster, everything you can name. They have old school and new school, and uh, my buddy right here who also is selling his own version of Ninja Turtles. Um, Use his website, but he called himself Half Shell because uh, I guess due to copyrights he got in trouble or something like that, so he had to change his name. And also, I want to mention these little baggies and everything. You, you don't have to go to um, like Hobby Lobby only because you know Hobby Lobby like, price things up now these days. I don't know why. Go to Walmart. This is where I got the bags to the jewelry section. Okay, remember to go to the art area, the jewelry area. They have different size, and I got these ones. I need to get a bigger one because the other turtle toys are kind of don't fit in those. Especially the way the size of their accessories. Alright, so uh, let's get on with the review, shall we?
All right, so start off with when uh, I've been wanting, like I said, I've been wanting to do this for a very, very long time. Okay. All right, let's start off with him first. As you can see, this is our version of Wingnut because there's going to be a brand spanky new Wingnut coming out for Nickelodeon. There's pictures all over. Yes, they're real pictures. Now, the thing is... We all think that, well, we already know that Kirby the Bat is Wingnut, okay? That's supposed to be the uh, the beginning of Wingnut. Now, Kirby was transformed into the Bat, as you all remember, and Michelangelo, who dressed up like the like a little butterfly, that's bait, he was fighting with, with Kirby, and he called himself Wingnut. Straight up, you hear Wingnut. Now, Kirby got mutated by the ooze that turned into like a Martian um, alien kind of thing when he escaped from the city. Now the turtles had to go back, and I don't know what they're going to do. Um, I don't know how they're going to make him come back into a bat, because they tr they made him go come back to the as a human. Spoiler alert. Oops, my bad. So, this is our version, and I really can't wait to see the new version. And yes, we have this whole Batman thing going on here. That's a wrestling mask and everything. That's why I call it, but... He's very, very cool looking. I think he's very twisted. Um, I have seen one, like, see how his nose looks and everything? I have seen one that is all pink, like, just pure pink like that. Um, that's that's what I found, but I don't know what to say about that. Because I like the way he looks right here. Little armor, his little belt, is bat in the front. He has some dynamite sticks on the side of his belt, as you can see over here. Uh, some bullets right here. A f little pack to put stuff in. Of course, uh, a extra band on the back of his uh, belt. I don't know what that's supposed to be. It looks like a spike piece of a alien thing. I don't know. So that's his belt looking. His stomach's all sticking out with his belly button popping out of his <laughs> out of his shirt. Where's this little pants thing? Oh, and like I said before, guys, uh, if you see anything that's different on yours, please tell me. Anything, like, painted differently, or maybe colors darker than yours. Stuff like that. If you see it, tell me, guys. Seriously. So, uh, yeah, of course, this one's not painted. Like, we all know how Playmates, old school Playmates, and new school, it doesn't know how to paint things very well. I like to take this tail right here. This little bat tail. <laughs> Now, of course, the accessories over here. Yes, you could take this off. Like that. Like, see? His real wings are right here. Okay? So, he has little wings, therefore, I don't think he could, like, lift himself up. So, they made himself have a bigger wings. Like, metal. Like. It's a little gun on the side of his wings. Let me put this back. Now, the thing is, Wingnut was always been... 50-50, really, because the Turtles actually have fought him before. He did start trouble. He's kind of, what do you call him, a greedy person. He, like, he wants, all he wants is money. That's it. Money, fame, whatever, but he just also want to be left alone as well sometimes. Um, Screwloose is kind of a, like a smart-ass kind of character, which I like him a lot, because I like smart-ass characters like that. Um, okay, here's the other side. Uh, he, has, he has a gun he could carry. It's also attached to his uh, wings. As you can see his little wings right there. And his giant wings. And of course, there's his little guns right here. And it's supposed to be painted right here, I guess. But... So... Yeah, he's also... He's been in video games. He's been in, what, like, comic books. I mean, he's been all over the place. There's his back. So part right here is supposed to be painted, which of course is not. Yes, because you can also take off his wings, but <clears throat> I wouldn't do it because it's you know it's his wings. You know, come on, guys. Okay, now 1990 Morgan playing with toys. See that? And, of course, the stand is actually very easy to stand him up. It's not trouble or anything anything like that because he has really big feet. Oh, well, you know your typical movements. The head moves like that. 
course, arms goes up and down. <clears throat> However, the wrist part does not move whatsoever, so you don't have too much joints to do much about that. But this legs actually moves, but it's kind of kind of loose. But I want to be careful on that. So if your legs are kind of way too loose, then it should be gentle because they could easily going to break soon. So be gentle with that. You don't want to do that. However, a psychic friend, screw loose. A giant mosquito. As you can see. Not painted, of course, but you could, you get the picture. <clears throat> as you can see, I mean, okay, look at this. Okay, as you can see, he's not wearing much of a... Well, no, he doesn't have a mask on or anything like that. The reason why I say that because... In the comic books, video games, and, you know, cartoons, they give him, like, a really, like, a, like, a, um, crook, you know, those when they wear the black mask around their, around her eyes. He has that, but in a toy, he does not. But everything else is still the same. His stomach sticks out. He's wearing, like, a t-shirt. Yeah, muscle shirt, like. With boots. Cow I call it cowboy boots, but, because you can have the little heel right here. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's also in uh, fighting the uh, tournament fighters as well. So, you know, you see, you beat him. He's like, he's all hanging out at the beach and everything. So, put the, put this up. Put this right. Let's see, like that. That's what I did with mine. I put a screw loose in the back on the top of his head. That's where he's supposed to be. And there you go. You got Wingnut right there, so I am excited to see the new Wingnut in action. Um, yes, he also yes he's also been I think I already said it he's been in cartoons. It was kind of cool with it, not exactly what I expected, but uh, I am very excited to see what he's gonna be like in the new series, and um, hopefully I, I can't wait for the new toy when they actually redo Kurt or Kirby. Kirby now is freaky looking. That's all I gotta say about that. Alright, uh, for this one, uh, push like if you like this toy. Push like if you have uh, any good f memories with Wingnut and Screw Loose. Um, hopefully, this review is good for you on the whole what he is, what he looks like, what to expect, what accessory he's supposed to come with. Um, I already did an old review on him without any of them, just him, uh, Wingnut only, because like I guess I only had him first. So put your comments down and everything. If you don't like it, don't just be, you know, I'm just going to push random numbers. Just tell me why you don't like it. You know, I just want to hear your thoughts behind it. And share with your friends as well. And of course, if you're in our generation, just to give your friends some flashbacks. Because, come on, Wingnut is Wingnut. Wingnut is cool, man. Alright, 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 alright. So, game with this frog. Now, I... It has different holes right here so that, you know, you could attach it tighter and tighter. But it's kind of a pain for me. So I'm like, right, whatever I could get him on, that's all that matters to me. But, yes, he actually has this. It looks like the same belt as um, Ace Duck. As you can see, which is golden. The way you can tell the difference is, like, to me, when, I've been, when I first saw the toys for the first time, Ace Duck has more of a, like a... Like a looser kind of um, belt, because he had to put it around his his um torso and to his shoulder. This one, the the belt is supposed to be tighter because it's waist and everything. But like I said, I only put on a few of the holes, so that's how you could tell the difference on that one. But somebody said that the the Ace Duck belt was actually tighter, and Gainus Friday belt was like loose like this. So I'm like, are you sure you got the right belt, or it wasn't? Are you sure you just you got a brand new? Because you never know. But anyways, yeah, so, I think I got this upside down. But yeah, this is his, um, what do you call it, soda pop cans and everything. Defies bombs. Kind of like what Rat King uses in the cartoon, that is. Yes, they do come off, so you got to have one, two, three, and four different soda cans. They're all in blue. Black is the original. Somehow, the golden yellow color is, like, the rare one. Um, as you can see, he's, he's wearing his, um, Florida shirt, that's what I call it. Uh, not Hawaiian shirt, but Florida shirt. 
I did a review on him and the other one because the other one has actually had that made in so and so. So you can I'm gonna put that review underneath this one so you can check that out. Like I said before, if you see anything different, please put it down. Uh, his stand is actually quite easy because he has big floppy feet. No big deal. Your head moving. It's like this. Like that. Arms out. This one's loose because I've been playing with it too much. And of course, you have your legs. Actually, movements. Uh, the, actual, the hand actually does move. The joint right there. This one, yeah, this one does the same thing. So we got 1990, no, 1989 Morgan Studio Playmates toys. I'm just gonna stereo. Remember, there's different versions of this toy. So you got one with made in China stuff like that, and it's really cool. The other one, the other made in China one, is more of a waxy feel to them. So, anyways, so here's a shield. It's a surf, well, me surfboard. So we put that right here. Easy goes on. I should find the other one. It's a bit more tighter hand. There you go. See? Doesn't get too loose. Except for his arms. And then his little gun with his tongue sticking out. Oh, yeah, the other thing is they actually made another um, original idea of how they want to make this toy. So if you go online, actually eBay is actually selling the original print on how they want to make the weapons and how they want to make Gangless uh, Frog. Um, as you can see also is that you can push this one back. And then stick it out. The tongue sticking out. Let's use attack people with it. And we'll put that right here. And of course, my favorite favorite sunglasses. Whoa, come back! Now you gotta be careful on this one because there's nothing to attach it to. Like you don't have nothing to clip it on. So just slide it on her, get on her. Only thing I have issues with this thing. Ta da! Game of Frog and his sunglasses. Like I said, is if you're gonna play with your turtle toys and also kids, if your parents give you this toy, put the glasses somewhere else because you know you could go like ah, and also it falls off. So like I said, this doesn't have that much of a attachment unless I could do this. No, I won't do anything. So yeah, that's the game's frog right there. So there you go. That's how he looks, people. So yes, like I said again, for the glasses, dude, Jared, thank you so much for this, and Chris for the accessories as well. Um, yeah, so like the same thing. I'm gonna say with with the other one. If you like this toy, push like. It does help with the video. Uh, it does. Um, yeah, put your comments down. I want to hear your thoughts. If you love this toy or not. If you don't, just push. Just tell me why. Uh, share this with your friends. I know a lot of people got to have this this toy before in their past life or past time, whatever, whatever you want to call it. When it first came out, this toy it has been one of my favorite. Also, I love them so much. Um, so yeah, I think this to me the paint job is pretty good. The accessories, I love the accessories. A lot of people are like, "Is eh, the accessories kind of cheesy and everything?" But I do love the accessory for this as well. So it's really cool. I just wish there was a way you could make the sunglasses actually stay on. And I can't wait for the toy to come out for this ver for the new version of this. I know he won't look like this. But he's going to look pretty wicked looking. So, uh, yeah. Put your comments down and tell me what you think about this guy. And you know what? I just realized something. I don't know what it is. It just popped in my head. It's not the same because I remember I had this conversation with someone. This glasses, it's not the same as one with Bebop, so don't think like, "Hey, wait a minute, it is repainted that." No, but I, would, I was kind of curious though. I mean, it does fit. Look at that, but it doesn't attach to it. So 
a hole right there and it does not breach. Oh no. Oh, I have dropped my glasses. So. Yeah, it won't reach, but it was worth a shot, you know. But, I mean, it's okay what it is. But, yeah. Alright, don't worry. We'll see more of his spinning Bebop once he's complete. I already did a review on him, but he's not complete. But I do got one accessories. I just need his glasses and his other thing that you put on his head. The spinning thing, you know. You know what I'm talking about. Okay. The next, next, next thing. My favorite. Napoleon Bullfrog. I don't know if you can see it because of the color. But, uh, yeah, he is very, very dark green. Uh, dark green spots, kind of like brown, kind of like almost. Of course, the piece symbol is actually painted instead of the green. Uh, his watch is also a different color. And, of course, his belly button. As you can see, he has like little flies all over. Whoa! Bebop took a dive. Anyways, as you can see, his back spine, I don't know, not spine, but the spikes on his back is not painted though. Or right here. However, we have, really closely, 1990 Mark Sula Playmates Toys. I don't know if you can see that. But this is my ultimate favorite, favorite one. Oh, and his earrings also uh, painted. And I already know people are like, wait a minute, how come I doesn't look like that? Because everyone has the other one. If you have this version right here, just this one, guys, congratulations. Take care, care of it, okay, guys? Serious, I'm not kidding. This is the rare one right here. Um, once I get the other accessories, I, um, the other accessory, he's slowly getting his um stuff, the other version. But if I, once I complete that one, I will put that one on another review and bring this guy back. Especially with the other one. Uh, his movements, you know, his head tilts. Our moves from the elbow part. And the shoulders. This one moves at the wrist. And of course at the arms. And of course his top leg, just, like his thighs just moves. His stand is really easy. Because he has big feet and everything, so... Yeah, I don't have to worry about this thing tipping over or anything like that. I have to punch too. And of course, the little braces not painted. I really do love this toy. This toy, I don't know, it's just, I wish they kept it like this color, not just change into this boring brown color looking thing. Because, I don't know, the other color, he doesn't stand out. This one just may go BAM, you know, this actually makes him look really cool. He, he just, it just, he looks just sweet. It's awesome. I like they do with Tonka, you know, they, they should have kept the, other, the, rare, rare, the rare version instead of the gray color, not the light brown highlights, because that looks so much better. But, you know, playmates do gotta do what you gotta do. Alright, for his shield, we have this um, top of the barrel thing as a shield. It's supposed to have like a whole bunch of ooze all over or toxic stuff. Sewer gas and a you know, crossbone right there, which means poison. Ta da da da. Let's see. And then. It goes like there. So, and, yeah, it, it's, it will, it won't, like, fall over or anything like that, so don't worry. It's just, you know, it's not heavy or anything like that. Next thing, he has two weapons, right, actually. He have, just like the Baxter stock with Fly Slaughter, but this makes more sense because he's a frog. And you can see he's a little, mos looks like a mosquito or something right there. No metallic fly sword. That'd be kind of cool to make one. I don't know why. It's... I want to make one now. I'll put that over here. It's very flexible too. Like it's kind of like rubber piece, kind of like as you can see. Like look at that, flexible. Ooh, bend your arms. So yeah, it's very flexible. His other accessory is a giant snake. Like a, I, I want to say it's a snake, but it looks like a dragon actually. I do apologize that I don't know the names of the accessories. Like I said, I don't have the box, okay? 
Now, if I had the box, I would put on my review, or if I could find out the name of their accessories, I would put the name on a review underneath so you can actually know the names. But, what can I say? Anyway, so this is his little whip looking snake thing, or dragon, I call it. Has no room for it, so you gotta put it somewhere else. And, of course, this little psychic buddy. Twisted looking fly. Like, really weird. Kind of reminds me of um, that serious uh, the hot rod demon, the demon speed speed demon. How he made his face look all twisted and everything. Just kind of reminds me of that. But a little like mad balls also. There's his back. His wings does move. So don't try to take it apart. And of course, he had that cartoon gloves on, those tunes things. And stitches back of his head. Because he's been cracked open so many times. Where his overalls <clears throat> kind of looks like a twist in Mickey Mouse almost. He doesn't have that maiden or anything like that. He's shorter than um, Screwless, so. But besides that, he's awesome. Alright, so that's my little um, Napoleon Bullfrog. And like I said, I can't wait to see him as a toy as well. Um, what else? Yeah, so once they come out with the new stuff, I will... Hold on Facebook. Have people comment on my stuff. But um, if you... See any of these kind of stuff like like this version only, you know you gotta get this one. This one's a cool one. But either way, get both of them. You I mean if you like Ventures like I do, then that's cool. Um, I'm not quite sure because I know I I did a review on him and the other one, the original, but that was on my computer. And I remember my old computer had a virus and deleted everything or hidden some stuff. But um, if I have it, I will put that underneath this one so you can check out the old review. And I know I did the other one by myself. So I so you can check that review as well. But um, if I didn't do um, comparison vintage toys on Napoleon Bullfrog, then we'll look more of that in the future. That we'll put them together. Especially, I won't put them right away because it's you know I just did this one. But once I complete the other one, then I'm going to do a comparison with the other guy, including the other ones as well. So push like like this toy, and here's a fun thing: which one do you like better, Napoleon or Gingless? You know, I me, mean, if I had to pick one toy, it would be this one. The Pulling Bullfrog is my favorite, ultimate favorite one. So, um, yeah, push like if you like this review. Push like if you like the toy. Um, the, this is not like a part one or part two. This is what I call, Jesus, man, I get a tag with, like, post, like, I don't know. Anyways, so, um... What was I going to say? So, the purpose behind this review is, yes, I already did a toy, but... Now they're complete, I want to show you what they come with. Like, this toy goes with these guys. Just like the other one. So when you go to Swamp Meet or Fighter Corners, if you come across these toys, you know who they belong to now. Um, I don't know what else to say. So, uh, yeah, it's just going to be... I'm going to have to tag their names and call it, you know, Accessory Complete or Complete Accessories, one of those two. So you could actually, like I said, if you know anyone who's hunting for the weapons or maybe you have a, a, one of these accessories at your house and you don't know who they belong to and hopefully you saw one of your accessories on this review right now, then now you know who it belongs to. So uh, put your comments down. Tell me your history behind any of these toys. Uh, anything different in yours, feel free to tell me. I know someone's going to say something about this one. Um, out of all three of them, yeah, all three of them, which one is your favorite to your least? So, I know it's not fair, but, you know. So, uh, yeah. Alright, people. Um, that's my review on the complete Wingnut blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Napoleon Bullfrog and Gaines Frog. Now, the thing is, like I said, these are complete. So, I may not have to do this again, but, like I said, just if there's a um, vintage, which there are, I will do another review on them, I and you will see them again. But the other one has to be complete. 
and there's a lot of reviews I need to do. Stupid hair. There's a lot of things I need to do. <laughs> is um, I have a lot of reviews, like old ones, like back in 2007 and 2010, I believe. They all got blocked because they have music on there so that you won't even see it. Some of you will or could, but a lot of you probably won't see that that even exists. Um, I will redo all of those videos, but I got to do it once they're complete with the accessories. And I wanted to say, hey, look at who he is again. I want, I want to make sure they're complete. So, because I have a lot of people um, asking me, um, why don't you ever do a review of the toys when they're complete? And I'm like, well, I, I'm a toy hunter. I want to show you, I'm excited. I want to show you what I found. And so excited to, to show it to you. And that's the whole purpose of your highness. This is fun. I mean, it took me forever to get these complete. Seriously. Each and every one of them, it took forever to complete these Ninja Turtle toys. And it's, it's a real pain in my butt. However, um, like I said, uh, I'd like to thank to Fighter Corners and to uh, Chris and to Jerry Tomato for the accessories. Um, yeah, so I got these these toys are not like finders. I had these toys for a very long time, but like I said, essentially complete and they look fantastic. It really does, seriously. Um, right now, I do not know who to ooze. I don't know because they. I want to ooze them all, but we all remember what happened to with the B Bob Rock City. When you put one over, and then all of a sudden they fall over, and it makes a giant mess. And it's. I just want to make sure which one that people want to see ooze. So I went on my Facebook. I don't know if you can see this. Actually, hang on. I'm on my Facebook right now. And. Oh! And look at. I don't know if you guys can see this. I actually put the question Who do you want to see ooze next? And we already got one um, um, vote. Uh, who is this person? He voted for Napoleon Bullfrog. Pam, uh, hey Pam, um, thank you for voting. Um, if um, nobody else votes right away, because like I said, I said hurry. I want no, because I want to get this review out as soon as possible. Um, so, so from the look of it, yeah, um, Napoleon Bullfrog looks to be on the top list. So I'm trying to put this on my main page so other people could. Um, Check it out and also view on this as well. So I get to get views and um, comments right away. So they used to have you you could you used to um, ask questions on here, but now they I guess they talk it down. How the hell would you do that? It's stupid. Add photos to your post location, set dates and time of your post. That's stupid. Tag people, yeah. They took it down. I was gonna add it as these question to my main page, John J O N Space Jupiter. So I don't know what happened. So I just had to keep my eyes open at the um at my group. Um, so if you go to my group, Call Me One Hundred Ones, Team and T review toy reviews. That's what it looks like right here, in case you guys are new. Right there. But as far as anything, I'm going to, it's, it's 7.44 right now. Uh, I'll give it till 8 o'clock, and if nobody doesn't vote right away or, or whatever, then I'm going to do what Pam voted for, for Napoleon Bullfrog to be oozed. Um, but if somebody asks to request, or request another person, like, explain, like, you know, wing nut. Then I'll wait another hour, maybe less. And then whoever gets the most vote will get the ooze. So cross your fingers on your favorite ones, guys, especially you, Pam. So hopefully people will agree that the pulling bullfrog will be the one to be ooze. <laughs> Alright guys, so uh, um put your comments down, share this video. I don't care, you share it with your friends. You know, I want them to know what you went through or what's out there. Old school and new school people. Alright, so, uh, yeah. So let's see what happens, who gets ooze. Until then, people, add these to your collection. These are the popular ones. Oh, wait, what do we got? Oh, another one, Napoleon. Thank you, dude. Um, yeah. 
push. No, he didn't push the button, but that's what it is, man. Yeah. Cool. So it looks like Napoleon is being the, the second, well, the, the main one, I should say. All right. So, like I said, we'll wait till 8 o'clock, and then it's time to ooze the, well, one of the guys. But, yes, at Easter Collection, get your accessory. You gotta have patience, people. It does take years to get them complete, but when it's time to get your accessories, and when they're complete, it's beautiful. It's awesome to get all your toys. Not just turtles, but all the other stuff as well. All right, people. I mean, hey, I'm still looking for my Ghostbuster accessories, you know. I want, I want to get those guys completed, too. I had them since I was a little kid. Anyways, off topic. Um, add these to your collection, people. And happy hunting, and we'll see who's going to get ooze. Yeah. All right, so it's already. Here's the voting. Uh, it seems like Napoleon's a big winner. Thanks to you guys. Thank you. Definitely thank you, Pam, for voting. Be the first one to vote. And of course, thank you. Uh, Joey, where are you? Joey's in here somewhere. Joey Becker, where are you? You're in here somewhere. Yeah. Well, I put on my main page as well, but I didn't have the voting thing. All right. So, um, it seems like Wingnut was number second because two people voted for Wingnut. Because um, Joey Becker um actually voted for Wingnut, so maybe I'll put Napoleon on the main t main step. And we not on the bottom if it leaks on him. So, alright, let's start. Um, I should do this more often, have people vote. So, let's do this uh, oozing time. Alright, we went through this so many times. Take. Uh, what number? Take five? Yeah, that's right, people. He keeps falling over. He keeps falling over. And the ooze are not going well because it's sticking on me and it's sticking on him. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Just get ooze, my friend. Get ooze. Ooze is good for you. Good ooze. Happy ooze. Okay. Alright, there we go. It's not really sticking on him because it's plastic, I think. That comes right off. See that? Hey, it's coming right off. Close it is. Very nice. Stuck on me. Stay. Now he's falling over. Eh, he's dead. On here. Uh, there. Gotta wish you could put music on this thing. Well, we got copyrights. Beautiful. Cool. Don't you fall over. This has to be the most difficult person to use. Besides Rock City. Well, it's not exactly what I had in mind. Yeah, 
crate. Probably gonna die. I don't know what it is, my friends. This one is pump a good fight. I will get this one on. Good shot. Got my finger. Yeah. Yeah. Messy, messy. Alright, I'm going to fix it up to make it look really cool in a photo. But there you go. Took five tries to get this guy ooze. Switch this little guy right here. He's like, at me. <laughs> Stay up, man. He ain't gonna stay up, is he? Probably do that. Ah! Stay. Why are you being difficult? Stay! Come on, little my friend, little friend. Ah! Ah, the ooze is just making him like. Ooh. I got message. Well, we're gonna fix them up and make it look cooler. But let's go look for an eBay villain and I gotta charge up my battery on this thing. Alright, this is something right here. eBay villain. What the heck was that noise? Anyways, we got a foot soldier right here, right? Not complete, but check this out. Uh, foot soldier, 1988, hard head, loose leg damage, so this is pretty much broken. But he wants it for eight dollars and five cents. Oh god, I'll see the shipping. Oh, free shipping. Ooh. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Legs is completely damaged, so it's kind of useless unless you use super glue or something like that. Here's the guy who's selling it. Obviously, he's doing a good job with the purple star thing, whatever you want to call it. But I would not pay eight dollars for a broken foot soldier, not complete. You know, no accessories, no that. So. Especially, you know, hard head. Obviously, there's no such thing as a soft head foot soldier. But this is damaged people, so I give him maybe a dollar in clothing. Maybe he'll throw in some glue in there for his leg. I don't know. Put your comments down. Tell me what you guys think behind this. I, yeah, I just think I'd give him a dollar. Ooh, you save 90 cents. Oh, no, 10% off. Ooh, pay that. Right. Anyways, yeah, put your comments down, people.